Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Well, if you're a Star Wars fan, you already know the news that was announced at the Star Wars celebration today. Daisy Ridley, i.e. Ray, i.e. Mary Sue, she's coming back in her own movie and there's going to be a three movies all together. She won't be in the trilogy, I don't think, but she will be in the first one. That's rumoured to be released in the cinemas by Christmas 2025. All the YouTubers who talk about Star Wars, Hills vs. Babyface, Star Wars Girl, Clownfish TB, Yellow Flash uh, 2, and um, Critical Drinker, they're all talking about it. No doubt this will be the major talking point on Friday Night Tights tonight. That starts at 9pm British Greenwich Mean Time, but Gary's always late, so it'll be about 20 past 9 I looked around, every news article covering mo movies is talking about this. I've only got you three. This is Variety, the American one. Daisy Ridley to reprise her old Rain Star Wars film. Then it just tells you all about it. Not going to go through this. And this is IGN. Daisy Ridley returned to Star Wars in a movie set after Rise of Skywalker. A Ray of Hope. Very droll. And it's going to be set 15 years after the rise of Mary Sue. And she's going to be the Jedi Master. Surprise, surprise. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. Well, we can't have Luke doing that, can we? As always being attracted to the hero's journey. She doesn't need a journey. She's a Mary Sue. So that's bollocks. And then that's just a picture from the celebration. And then it's just confirmation more or less what the other article says this one is empire magazine it's a british one i don't think you can get it in america star wars the new three movies confirmed at celebration including daisy Ridley's return as ray i always had the suspicion it was going to happen drunk cpo drunk three cpo he said that hey, they're going to do it and they're going to put ray with grogu and the all roads in the Mandalorian, which is a woman DeLorean now, are heading towards the Disney trilogy. And it says, The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett. Meanwhile, the movie arm of the Spore and Space Opera. False starts. The new star, three new Star Wars films are confirmed at the Lucasfilm panel, if not by name. Now, are these movies being greenlit, or has it just been a public announcement? Remember, Kathleen Kennedy has announced a lot of movies, but they've all nothing come out of it. And a lot of movies have had the directors fired by her. So they all get cocked up and a mess. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I also found George, this one clip about George Lucas. You might have to turn your volume up because it is a bit quiet. And then it goes round robin again. But the main news is she's back. She's not wanted, but she's back. The movie, it's a question of how much money it's going to lose because I, for one, won't be going to see it. I have no interest. The normies might, but I'm a Star Wars fan. I've got 1 to 6 and Rogue One in Blu-ray 4K, so I don't need to go and see the further adventures of Mary Sue. Right, I think I'm getting on to the 10-minute mark now, probably past the 5-minute mark, so I'll leave it at that. Right, you know the routine, people. Like, dislike, comment, etc. It's completely up to you. So that's it till Monday. Bye-bye.